In this video, I want to show you how to create a jump link. A jump link is basically a hyperlink that will jump to another area of the page. So I've set up a web page here, and what I want to do is I want to create a link on this click here. It says click here if you want to jump straight to my conclusions on the TS990. Well, the conclusions are down the bottom. So I want to create a hyperlink on that click here that if the visitor clicks on it, jumps immediately down to the conclusion sections of the page. This is really useful if you want to create a table of contents, for example, on a very long article, and you want to create that table of contents based on headings you've got on your page. But be aware that most of the blocks in Gutenberg have the option of an HTML anchor, so you can actually hyperlink to any block. If you wanted to hyperlink to an image or a video or a paragraph, you can do that as well. So the first thing we want to do is create an HTML anchor at the point where we want to jump to. So we want to jump to the conclusion. So I've just clicked into the header block. And then over on the block settings, we want to go down to the advanced. And you can see the instructions down here. It says enter a word or two without spaces. I'm going to just type in conclusions. And I'm going to copy it to make sure I've got the spelling correct. That's the first bit. The second bit is to go up to the place where you want to create the link highlight the text you want to hyperlink, click on the link button in the toolbar, and then you type the hashtag, or I think you call it a pound sign in the US, followed immediately by the HTML anchor you created. Let's just accept that. Let me update, and we'll preview the page in a new tab. So here's the article. You can see we've got the link at the top. If I click on it, it jumps immediately down to the conclusions. Now, this hyperlink is on the same page as we're jumping to. We're jumping down to here. But you can create a link on another page that will jump to the same area. Let me just go to my dashboard, and I'll show you this. I want to go and visit the site. I'm get the URL of this post. Let me drag down the browser so you can see it. This is the post where we've got the jump link. Click on it, we jump down to the conclusions. That's great. What I want to do is come back up and I want to grab the URL of the page. In fact, you can see the full URL there with the jump link. And that is actually what we're going to create on the other page. But the URL of this web page is that. Let's grab it, copy it. And I'm going to go to a different web page. And you can see here, this is on the ICOM 7600. And at the very top, I've got the Kenwood TS990 as an alternative to the ICOM. You can read my conclusions here. So I want to hyperlink this conclusions here to the conclusions on the other page using a jump link. So again, what we need to do is create the link. And we're going to put in the URL followed by hashtag conclusions. So we've got the URL of the page we're jumping to plus the HTML anchor. Let's just save that. Has it? Uh, don't think it's saved. Let me try that again. So let's highlight the conclusions here. Go up there. We'll paste in the URL followed by hashtag conclusions. And we've now got that saved. Let's update. And we'll go back to the website. Let me go back to the home page and we'll find the ICOM post. There we are. Let's go there. You can see we've got the Kenwood TS900 as an alternative to the ICOM 7600. You can read my conclusions here. If I click on that, it will hyperlink to the conclusion section on the Kenwood page. So that's how you do it. It's quite easy. You just create an HTML anchor to the point on the page you want to jump to. And then when you want to link to it, you use the hashtag HTML anchor, and that will link to that section of the page.